Hello, and welcome to Starbound, with me, the most of everyone, okay, Mr. Sarat. Uh, I am in there somewhere, there, there I am, hello. Yep, we have had a bit of an update. It's changed things around a fair bit. It's also wiped my ship, and my planets, and pretty much everything bar me. So yeah, when I logged back in, I had everything that I had previously, which is basically just a lot of blocks and nothing else. So I've come up here to my ship and I have built everything on my ship. Now if you remember we are above our, the second planet in our starting solar system. I've also had all my fuel wiped which is a little bit annoying. We're above this planet over here, Alpha Attic 48i A. It's an arid threat level 1. We set 48i as our home planet. Now our base that we built down there and all our equipment, it's gone. It's been wiped. Yeah, which is a bit of a bummer. There's a few other changes. Water on our planets, for example, is now poison. It's much harder to get down lower. But the planet itself has been reset, which means all the dungeons have been reset and all the ores have been reset. So I, um, yeah, I can go around and collect all my ores again. Which is good uh, and bad at the same time. Obviously, this it's been a bit of a holiday-themed, Christmas-themed um, update. And there is this new material, holiday spirit, which can be used to craft a whole heap of decorative things, as well as, well, there's a lot of presents, which you can see in the background jumping up and down. There's also bits of armor. It's not really armor, it just, it, it's warmth, is pretty much all that is. Uh, what's this, a warm holiday glow. Yeah, a lot of, oh, he's, not oh, just a female equivalent. I haven't gone through it all yet. Oh, we can actually make candy block. Sweet smelling rock candy. Fair enough. Not, we wouldn't be able to make too much of it though because we've only got 51 holiday spirit. You get holiday spirit from killing things. Yeah, that's the holiday spirit. All the quests reset as well, so... My, um, meta manipulator and... All that, it's back here. Even though I've got it up here in my hopper. Another neat feature. I can warp down to that planet below us. I can also warp back to my home planet. Yeah, pretty neat. So let's go to... Well, I've, I've had a little bit of a play around with both of them. Let's go back home. Because I want to do something. I want... Well, as you can see, I don't have everything here. My base is gone. One piece of equipment that I am missing, that I want, is this metal workstation. I want to go through the metal workstation and see if there's anything new added. Because I know that there is some things new added in the Iron Anvil. We now have the silver. Silver armor, which is a little bit better. Uh, five armor. The... what's... that's the greaves, okay, so the hatchling, which I'm currently wearing, loincloth, is three. So it's a little bit better armour. Uh, that present is... Excuse me? Oh, now I, I can't get into you. I... Ow! <laughs> okay, fair enough. No, no, that one there acts as a chest. Alright, that was a little bit weird. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so there is silver armor. I don't have a great deal of silver at the present. Only 51. So I can't make the full set. We want to have a look at the metal workstation before we go any further. To build that though, if you remember, we need to fight this guy. We need to fight the first penguin boss. And I have enough resources to craft this again. It doesn't take a great deal, to be perfectly honest. It takes next to nothing to craft it. Wooden planks are the only thing it takes a lot of, and I have got a lot of them. So let's craft them up. See if we... Ooh, 
accept reward. Why, thank you. We finished the quests. Let's see if we are able to take him out so easily this time. Alright, so we'll go back up top here. It's... Well, that's another change that you might notice. The gravity has altered. The behaviour of some mobs has also altered. I'll turn around, would you? So I can jump different heights on different worlds at the moment. Which is kind of interesting. This one here I can jump quite high, so it's going to be quite quite useful. Might craft a few more of those if we can. Uh, we can't. We don't have any... We don't have any plant fiber. Okay, well, that's alright. We can get plenty of that. Oh, and look at that. We can also get some iron. Well, why not? Let's just place a couple of torches down here. Obviously, I haven't been this way yet on my new world. My new home world. Uh, where's my axe? There you are. I don't use those... Those, uh... What are they? The... Actually, the jumping can be a little bit annoying <laughs> at the moment. I don't use those platforms so often these days because I've got such a good high jump. Critical items will also stay on the ground a little bit longer now. Previously, they disappeared quite fast. Not so anymore. I haven't tried out the Mana Manipulator yet. We'll see how effective it is. Not so, it would seem. Yeah... Still as useless as ever. Come on, Iron. Thank you. Thank you. We want some bandages. So, oh, there's some poison that I was talking about. Just down here. Right there. If I was to walk over that, I would end up poisoned. Annoyingly so. Alright. Where is our... Dirt. It, liquid is easy to get rid of now, you just build on top of it. So that's not really a problem anymore. It does make it a little bit more difficult to mine, just because everywhere you go is poison. I have to collect all the coal as well, because we have no fuel in our ship. Had a little bit of a look at some of the random places I could visit. They all seem to take something like 200 to get here and I've got nothing so we're gonna have to start all over again collecting our fuel you can't use wood anymore it would seem I tried it wouldn't let me let's get rid of you collect you oh I'm I'm gonna have to come down here and collect all this up I'll do that off camera though, I'll just collect this little bit of iron because I, I can't say no. have to collect it. would like it to be silver, but oh well. Can't win them all. That's not where I want it to be. I'm on the wrong side. It's alright. This hopefully is going to be enough bandages. How many can I make? Come on, click. Yep, that'll do. We've got 30 odd. Alright, time to get up here and see how this penguin's changed. Oh, and here he comes. Ow! Hey, gotcha! Whoa! A tank to begin with? Really? Oh, a couple of good hits in there. Alright. Owning him already. Fall damage, the way fall damage works has also changed. Come back down here, would you? Ow! Oh, the way he belts you, though, that hasn't changed. Oh, what have we got this time? We've got some machine gunners. Yeah, that's right. Can't hit me. Hey, penguins shouldn't be flying. My guy should. 
Oh, you're gonna fall down on me? You're gonna fall? Come on, come on. Woohoo! Ah! Ooh, oh, okay. <laughs> he didn't get me. Uh, I screamed as if I did, but. You're dead. So are you. Ooh, I got myself a little bit of coin out of it. Oh, he's starting to do his disappearing trick. Ow! Ow! Ah! Oh! Alright, you can shoot me. That time. So it looks like he's as easy as ever, so far. Alright. Got a couple of good hits in on him. Oh! Wasn't ready for that one. Oh! Belted me. Still using my crappy beginner weapon, so... Get a few good shots in on him. Let's have a little bit of a heal up, shall we? Trying to drop down on me there. Nice, nice. Where are you? Come back. Ow! That was not very friendly of you. I don't think he quite understands what a distress beacon is. Ouch. Getting a few good hits in on him. Ow. I should have known he was about to do that. Oh, whoa! That was a long drop. You're about to die. Ouch. These little... What the hell? Ah. Hey, hey, hey! You're dead. And I got myself another core. Fantastic. What are you doing over here? Look, did you not just see what I just did? And you still want to fight me. That change there. The body slam. He can change direction in midair. That's a little bit annoying, <laughs> to be honest. But it does make him a little bit more difficult. Which isn't really a bad thing. Okay, metal workstation. Oh, I need the iron anvil. It's not a problem. we got one right here. Oh. And one of the few reasons I still use... or One of the few uses I still have for... Uh, where are they? For my wooden platforms. They're good at increasing space for building things. Oops. Get rid of you. Where are those? What was that? that was a present, wasn't it? There we go. Wasn't actually using him, but... And... Metal workstation. A station for producing and making use of various metals capable of producing steel. Yay! We got one! Again. Lunk him down. Alright, I haven't yet seen what it does. Let's have a look. Alright, so we got ourselves some tools. Nothing new there. Some pretty nice looking tools. What's that? A tiny tomahawk. Bet it's got terrible range. Steel loincloths. Need steel bar. How do you how do you get steel steel blocks? How do you get steel bars? Oh, steel bar! Coal and iron. Alright, so that's something else we've got to do. Uh, a steel hunting bow. Monsters killed with a bow drop tasty meat. Okay, that needs iron. Alright, so we can go for you. Guard spawner. What? A guard spawner? Oh, look how much costs in coins though. Spawn your very own guard. Avian spawner, spawn your very own avian villager. Robot legs for mobility. What? Nice. Robot head, a robot head complete with a living brain. Robot arms. Strong robot arms capable of lifting heavy objects. Inactive robot. An inactive robot. I wonder what happens if it's switched on. Okay, so it needs a little bit of everything. Needs all those, but we don't have an artificial brain, it would seem. Okay, some... Oh, artificial brain! <laughs> a superior brain. How do we get that? How do we get that, I wonder? Some standard stuff. A bit more standard stuff. A platinum pickaxe. Ooh. 
pickaxes are so last millennium. This one is made of platinum. Ooh. That looks nice. Let's use our gold down a little bit more before we go for that. Uh, more steel, steel, oil, oil lantern. Okay. A handy oil lantern. Careful not to spill it. Need steel and a torch. Okay. Steel, steel bed. Silver. Here's our silver equipment yet again. Can't make it all, unfortunately. We might be able to make some of it, though. What, what, what? Ah! Nice! Oh, wow. This looks fancy. Alright, we've got to make ourselves a little bit of this steel. What can we make? We can make the greaves. We can make the helmet or the chest piece. That's it. Let's go with the chest piece. Now we want to make some steel. Not yeah, steel. Where are you? Steel bars. And how many of you can we make? 45. That's not really that many. That uses up a lot of my iron as well. But you know what? We're going to do it. Because there's iron everywhere. Steel hunting bow would be nice, but you know, I haven't been using my iron hunting bow lately. Doesn't seem to be as effective as it once was. Okay, the sparrow loincloth. That gives us a little bit more armor. And a bit of warmth. Look at that. I want to make you. This ceremonial steel cape slash plate combo is both comfortable and fashionable. Look at the pixels it uses. Holy jeez. Let's, let's make it anyway. <laughs> Alright, so we can't afford to make the sparrow loincloth because we are out of steel. And we're out of iron for that. But hey, hang on a sec. Hang on one sec. What are you? Platinum. Oh, I won't say no to you. Uh, steel bars. We've got a little bit more here. Nice. Got ourselves a little bit of copper there as well. Obviously, I'm going to have to go down and... Oh, look at that. Look at that. 15, 8, 3. 35, 15, 8. Nice. We'll not say no to that. Now, that iron that we just collected was nowhere near enough. Let's whack our old hatchling breastplate. That's our iron, I think that was. Okay. Can we make a few more steel bars? Oh, you know what we're out of? Not iron. We're out of coal. Dang. Dang, I used it all to fuel up. Oh, I'm hungry. Um, yeah, best get rid of that raw, put in this yummy, delicious food, some steak. Alright, unfortunately, yeah, we are out of steel bars, because we're out of coal. I guess that means that we're going to have to go down and do a whole bunch of mining. But we've got ourselves a few extra bits and pieces, we've even got ourselves a little bit of extra equipment. Still want a few of these other nice little bits, these jump packs and the like. Health is getting up there, our energy is getting up there, but more importantly our defence is getting up there, and that's something that we do need. Uh, we're looking a little bit nerdy rudy right there. Oh well. Wouldn't mind looking at getting some more bags as well. If keeping our character is a possibility in the future, but nothing else, I might end up keeping a lot more on me. But anyway, that's it for this episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, hit like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.